Hey everyone, this is Luke again, and welcome to the final part so far, and I say so far because this person is probably going to release part 4 for uh, this series, but in the description it says, don't expect it for a very long time. But this is, if Ninjago villains were criminally charged, part 3. So... This one I shouldn't expect to be as long because it's only like 16 minutes as well. Like the other one was 16 minutes. Um, and hopefully I won't ramble as much at, in this video compared to the other two videos that I made about this. But hopefully uh, this is the final part so far. So if there another part shows up when I when I see it happen, it, it'll... I will definitely make a video about that. But so far, this is the last one Rob's Media has made. So, here we go. So, first up, we have the Omega. And we actually went right straight into it. Property destruction, burglary, assault with a deadly weapon twice, first degree attempted murder twice, and crimes against world peace. Sentence, 20 years, plus two life sentences. Well, the Omega is ba practically immortal, unless, you know, the tornado of creation exists. <laughs> plus a death penalty, plus a $107,000 fine. So this one is really light compared to some of the other Ninjago villains that we've seen in the previous two videos. Like, I think he might have the lightest sentence, especially... And that's probably because he doesn't even appear that much, so... Um, I might be wrong. I'm surprised in this, in this whole series, um, Rob's media doesn't include Ronin as a villain, because he was a villain, technically. So, uh, um, yeah, that's a surprisingly light sentence. That one surprised me. So next up is Asphira. As you can see with this bar, it's very long. A sphere of property destruction twice, trespassing twice, inciting a riot, burglary, assault with a deadly weapon 11 times, Jesus, grand larceny 3 times, kidnapping 2 times, bringing someone out of jail 2 times, escaping lawful custody, arson 2 times, use of explosives, usurping the throne, first degree attempted murder 13 times, and crimes against world peace, since 256 years, plus 13 life sentences, plus two death penalties, plus a $1,127,000 fine. Wow. I guess the revenge wasn't enough for her to escape this time around. Sorry if the voice cracked for that. But how, how could anyone do her revenge? I'm sorry. I can't help but doing that that line. I can't. I can't take myself seriously whenever I say that. <laughs> um. Uh. So yeah, this one is pretty bad. But again, we don't know as Fierce's actual age or how long this she can live up to, because she was mummified in a tomb for a long time. So we. I don't know if she's dead or d no. She wasn't dead. She so. We don't know if she even has, like, an age limit, so it could be an infinite sentence, technically. Kind of similar to the, that of Lord Garmadon, where because he ages slower, it might turn out to be an infinite sentence. Or, or the Overlord, that's a better example, Overlord. And then next up we have General Vex. Wow, this one is really light as well. Attempted theft, trespassing, coercion, reckless endangerment, conspiracy to commit murder, first degree attempted murder two times, usurping the throne, and attempted genocide. Sentence 11 years, plus three life sentences, plus two death penalties, plus a $1,050 fine. That is the lightest so far I think we've seen in terms of like numerical value 
So Vex might so far has the lightest sentence out of everyone. Now, I wonder if um, if Rob's media once this series is over, Rob's media will do like a whole list of like, oh, this is the villain with the longest sentence. This is the villain with the shortest sentence. I really hope Rob's media does that. I really hope they do that. So, um, so that's surprising. But to be fair, he was the true villain of the Ice Chapter and not the Ice Emperor. I wonder if Ice Emperor will be included in this list because the Ice Emperor was was more or less a pawn. Um, for Vex, as you as you just seen here, but I don't know. Maybe because. But then again, that would be a completely separate video of, oh, I think there's a separate video by someone else called If the Ninja Were Charged for Their Crimes. So, um, yeah, this one kind of shocked me. I expected it to be a bit more than that. So, next up, we have the mechanic. Oh, I forgot about him. Wow, his is really... He has a good rap sheet. Trespassing two times. Theft. Coercion. False imprisonment two times. Assault with a deadly weapon ten times. Arson. Attempted to escape lawful custody. Escaping lawful custody four times. Bank robbery. Grand larceny. Involvement in an organized crime. First degree attempted murder and crimes against moral peace. 223 years plus a life sentence plus a death penalty plus a $25,000 fine. The me I would assume the mechanic is a regular, just a regular human. Although there is that theory. I don't know if you remember. I made a video about it like ages ago. There was this theory about how one of the pirates from when Captain Soto's crew was revived in season two. One of them looked suspiciously like the mechanic, and some people assume that this random pirate is the mechanic because of them having the same, like, facial structure and whatnot. And if that's the case, then this pirate would have to be more than, like, 200-something years old. So, <laughs> checking out the sentence, this might actually be a life sentence. This might... But I doubt that. I think it's just pure coincidence because a lot of... Because Ninjago loves to reuse the same models for different characters. And it is kind of jarring that they use, like, one character and then they show, shows up in another. And I get why, because it's to cut costs to save money. But at the same time, it is very jarring. Next up, we have Vangelis. We have King Vangelis. Trespassing, assault, assault with a deadly weapon, two times. False imprisonment, six times. Smuggling, grand larceny, escaping lawful custody. Second degree attempted murder, five times. Holy crap. First degree attempted murder, two times. Crimes against world peace and slavery. We kind of knew that one was coming. Sentence, 241 and a half years. Plus two life sentences, plus two death penalties, plus a $10,000 fine. I mean, I'm sure he can pay off the fine with all that Venge Stone he got from Harumi. I'm surprised if that's he could wouldn't just bribe his way out because he is a slimy son of a bitch. Um, so if this video isn't as long as some of the other ones, it's mostly because we kind of you kind of understand the gist of what we what we're doing, so there really really isn't much to discuss. A lot of these villains have relatively light senses compared to some people like the Overlord Harumi and Garmadon. They only get like an eighth of that sentence, but that's mostly because unlike um, those villains, these villains only appear like once, except for a couple. Like Asphira shows up twice, King Vangelis shows up twice. The mechanic shows up at least like three different times. At least I think three different times. Um, Vex only showed up once, um, and then 
as fair showed up twice, the Omega only showed up once, and then finally we have King Kalmar. I like how you refer to him as the king. Giles Pantin would be very happy. The murder charge is gonna where's the murder? First degree murder, yeah. I would expect him to be more than oh wait made it wait a minute. Trespassing, assault, assault with a deadly weapon twice, property destruction three times, false imprisonment seven times, grand theft auto, grand larceny, second degree attempted murder twice, first degree attempted murder fourteen times, first degree murder twice. I know he killed his father, so who's the other person that he killed? Attempted regicide, regicide. Usurping the throne, terrorism, attempted genocide. Yeah, because he's racist. The racist fish. 123 and a half years, plus 15 life sentences, plus 6 death penalties, plus a $141,000 fine. So, out of these, who had the longest sentence? Because Vex had the shortest one by far in terms of numerical value. And Vex was just a normal person. So he would probably either... I think he had a death penalty or a death sentence or something like that. Um, and he'd probably get out of there the soonest. So I, I think... A, a, did a spirit get the longest one? It might have been her. It might have been her. I don't know. It's her or Vangelis. 256 plus 13. Yeah. If you think about it semantically, it's a Sphera in this video. And then I think second place would be Vangelis. And then I think second place would be Vangelis. So. And then third, I think, might be. It's either the mechanic or uh, Kalmar. Now, third is Mechanic. Third is Mechanic. Fourth is Kalmar. Is Kalmar. And then fifth is Omega. And then sixth is Vex. Okay. So, yeah. That's all there is with the If Ninjago Villains Were Criminally Charged for Their Crimes series so far. Hopefully Rob's Media will make another video about this. Um, where's part four? Maybe even a part five. But I really hope that Rob's Media uh, makes a full list of which villain got the longest sentence in, in numerical value versus is who got the longest sense if you think about like how old these characters actually are because if you think about it a different way the results will be different um but i also i just want to see how every villain compares to each other in a sense um but again like this person said in the description don't expect it for a very long time so i may not make this type of video for a very long time um so, yeah. Sorry if this one is also pretty short compared to some of the other one, the other two, because you kind of got the gist of this, and I did want uh, my ramblings to go on forever and ever and ever, like I did, they did in the, uh, the first two videos. So, if this video isn't nearly as long as the other two, then that's why. But anyways... What do you guys think about this little mini-series that I had? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Which sentence surprised you the most? And which sentence, you know, who do you think, out of all the Ninjago villains so far, if Rob's media makes another one, who do you think will get the longest sentence? Who do you think will get the shortest? Let me know in the comments down below. But anyways, I hope you guys like this video. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel by clicking the red subscribe button. And click on the notification button to see every video that I will upload. And I'll see all you folks in the next video. Bye-bye.